A live look outside over Coors Field, where today the Rockies are playing in a split doubleheader against the Seattle Mariners. Today's games were rescheduled from Friday when the game had to be postponed because of the weather. And this is what the field looked like just yesterday around noon. Crews were out all afternoon plowing the snow off of the field. They were able to have it cleared in time for last night's game. And thanks for joining us. I'm Angela McCall. Now let's bring in meteorologist Corey Ruppenhagen. Corey, what a big difference one day can make. Wasn't that amazing? I mean, we had clear blue skies for almost the entire day today and lots of snow melt, even had some baseball going on today and some professional baseball going on as well. So we're going to even warm the temperatures up even further tomorrow, but just keep a note for the coming week, we have a rain or a thunderstorm chance just about every single day going all the way into next weekend. Take a look outside one more time. You can see those clear blue skies have finally started to disappear. We've got a little bit of high clouds rolling across the area, but the temperatures are still real nice. The temperature at DIA is still 63 degrees, and it's also 63 degrees right here in downtown Denver in the Nine News backyard. Here's your forecast for Denver tomorrow. A little bit more clouds tomorrow, but the temperatures will be about 10 degrees higher. So keep it not as much of that clear blue skies, but the air temperature is going to feel really amazing. We could hit 70 degrees by noon tomorrow and take a look at the forecast highs across the rest of the state. Very mild day across the entire state of Colorado, in, especially down there on the southeast plains and the western slope getting up into the middle to upper 80s. There will be some wind involved in that and I'll also address what we have uh, as far as rain chances going through the rest of the week in just a little bit. And with warmer weather today and Earth Day tomorrow, some spent their morning making nature beautiful again. Dozens of volunteers picked up all sorts of stuff, soda cans, string, trash from along the South Platte River. And that's where we find our Janelle Finch after she spoke to some of those volunteers. Janelle? Angeline, by the end of this morning, there were bags piled up with trash from the South Platte River. Pratt River right here. And because a couple people just picked up a bottle cap here and there, this river is cleaner for all of those who benefit from it. Colorado's natural beauty. It's one of the things people can appreciate. I don't know if that's a rock or trash. And disrespect the most. Nothing too interesting, something kind of sad. This book. That book. When bad things happen to good people. Volunteers Callan Steedman and Mickey Balder are trying to reverse some of the damage in Denver's South Platte River. When I look at people fishing and I think about all the trash that's over here and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Are you finding fish or trash? Cleanup goes a long way, according to water lawyer James Eklund. Colorado is the headwater state. Most people don't know that. Uh, 18 downstream states in Mexico get water that starts right here in rivers like this. So it's really important we get it right when it comes to water policy and law. And well, we've got a lot of eyeballs on us uh, in Colorado. He says river pollution is disappointing. But seeing dozens make a difference is a welcome surprise. It's one system. We have to treat it as such. And I just, it warms my heart to no end to see this kind of activity going on. Writing a wrong so all can enjoy the state's resources without distraction. Sure, this is kind of a bummer to see all this. But at the end of the day, a lot of people came out to do it. The water lawyer we spoke to says the Clean Water Act put in a lot of really important protections five decades ago, but it's on people of today to continue to support its mission. He says legislation didn't put responsibility on law enforcement to clean up waterways, which makes days like these all the more important. Live in Denver, Janelle Finch, 9 News. All right, thanks so much, Janelle. And starting on Earth Day tomorrow, the city of Denver will start holding events, giving out free reusable grocery bags to people who trade in their plastic ones. The city wants to avoid plastic bags going into landfills or contaminating recycling. In a little over a month, you won't be able to buy single-use plastic bags at the stores anymore. Most stores have already stopped, but some have been able to sell the bags if they still have had them in stock. But that will end starting June 1st. So tomorrow, you can take your bags to the Safeway on Federal at West 27th between 4 and 7 p.m. And there you can trade your plastic bags in. All the plastic bags will be turned into new furniture.
Baltimore police say a man is in custody after going to Southlands Mall with three guns today. At around 245, officers say they found a man at Ross who was suffering from mental health issues. Witnesses say the man dumped out his backpack and three BB guns fell out onto the floor. Police say there's surveillance video as well. We're working on getting that. Officers say the man didn't threaten anyone and no one was hurt.